Hey friends, my name is Julie and welcome back to my farm. Today it looks like I'm finally going to get to meet our first set of goat kids of the season. We're a couple days past the due date that I had recorded for a couple of these girls and one of those goats was Electra. And today she is gonna have her babies. She is a first freshener, that means she's a first time mama. I've never milked her before, we've been doing a lot of training. So pretty soon we're gonna find out what kind of mama she is and what kind of milker she is. So stay tuned. And her ligaments are feeling quite a bit softer this morning. So I think we might have babies today. She's also pretty hesitant to eat the brewer's grain. She's looking pretty floppy in back. Her otter's been coming in pretty consistently. She's still got a little bit of give to it. It's not super tight, but I think probably tonight. happening. We've got a bubble. So I did go ahead and separate Electra into our what's normally our, our baby room but will serve as our maternity ward until then. I don't like to separate does from the herd until labor is imminent and then I only like to keep them separated for a few days. Oh, we're pushing. Good girl. Good girl. Looks like just a bubble so far. <laughs> You're a good girl. Pushing. Good girl. I'm about to pop that bubble. Actually, have a baby in it. Why do you want to go in the corners? Trying to hide it from me? I'm here to help you. Good girl. Those are good bushes. Good girl. Looks like some feet to me. like a hoof. See two hooves. Looks like a nose. Good job, girl. Good job. Getting there. Yeah. You gotta do the hard part. Good job. Good job, Mama. Good job. You got it. You got it. Good job, Mama. Good job. Good job. You got another one? Yeah, you got another one. Okay. Coming quick. He's fine. Take care of that. Yep. Here comes number two. I knew you had two. You were so big. Look at how fast he's coming. Yep. It'll be easier. Good job, Mama. Good job. Good job. That's another buckling. <laughs> oh, a lot of sack on that 
one. All right, there we go. There we go, here. <laughs> All right, all right. What do you think, Mama? What do you think, Electra? They're over here. That's a good girl. Good girl. He's gonna try to get up already. Little boy, you're going the wrong way. I'm gonna get you back over here, Mom. Come on. What do you think of this one? That one's yours too. Good job, Mama. Try to nurse, you gotta stand up first. You're getting it. You're getting it. Welcome to the world, little boys. Both on your feet already. Big strong boys. <laughs> Firstborn's just trying to nurse on everything. You'll get it, buddy. You are quite a bit smaller, number two. Still good size. Yeah. You're going to have some cool markings. Looks like number two wins the race to the nipple. Good job, Mama. Good job. Oh, he's going to town. Good job. That was fast, oh boy. Did you get 
get it, buddy? Almost. Almost got it. You're so close. Yeah, I think you got it. Is that so much better? Good job, little boy. I know, Mama. Good job. Yeah, you got it all figured out. There you go. Almost both of you. There's one for each of you. No, there's one for each of you. Okay. Here we go. Both nursing. Good job, Mama. Well, I really couldn't have asked for a more textbook birth and delivery from Electra here. She didn't labor for long. Both babies were perfectly positioned. They came one right after the other. It seemed like she had to do minimal pushing to get them out. She started licking them within minutes of them being born. And I think within another 15 minutes, they were on their feet and and trying to nurse. And now both of them have successfully nursed several times. She's had both of them nursing at the same time. She's doing everything perfectly. I'm gonna grab her some brew grain and some warm molasses water. I'm gonna dip their navels in iodine. But for the most part, I'm gonna leave her alone for the rest of the evening uh, with just some periodic checks because I think she is gonna do just fine all on her own. It's the next morning and I've got our new mama, Electra, on the milking stand. She'll be getting an extra big breakfast today and I'm gonna clean up her udder a little bit and I'm gonna feel it and see if she needs to be milked out at all, if there's any pressure built up. But with two bucklings nursing on her, she probably doesn't need any help in that department. You lost quite a bit of weight last night. Look how much skinnier you are. We have to feed you real well. Yeah, her udder's not too tight. So, probably just gonna clean her up. Hi boys, how are you this morning? So cute. <laughs> just take a nap while your mom eats. Good girl. First time washing her udder. And being super good about it. Yeah, this is what we've been training for. Get you dry it off. Good girl. Such a good girl. You're such a good girl, Electra. She's not even being really nervous about being separated from her babies. Helps that they're napping in there, not calling for her. Seems like an old pro already. Taking everything in stride. That's my good girl. She earned her collar today too. Because <laughs> now yeah. she's a milker, right? All done? You all done? Get it on. Good girl. They're right there. Go get them. Yep. Now you're all clean. 
We had breakfast. Yeah, you can feed them. Yeah. Good mama. Hey, handsome. <laughs> so this is baby boy number one, big dude. And I think he is just all white with some black. He's got some, some grays mixed in there. His ears are really cool. They're kind of white on the edges. And then a little salt and pepper and black in the middle. Very unique. And his eyes are kind of hard to see because these, ah! <laughs> these lines on his face. So he's a cool looking dude. He's got one little patch of black on his knee. And then he's got this. Ah! Ah! Woo! He's got sort of this black and silver hawk back here. But that's it. <laughs> oh. So yeah, I need to weigh him, but he's a big boy. And they both ended up with very Nubian looking ears and very boar looking head and body shape. So none of the Oberhasli, which their mom is half Oberhasli, none of that seemed to, to translate, but we'll see as they grow up. You're very cute. This one is much calmer. He likes uh, being held a lot more. He's a little chill. This is baby boy number two. So he is mostly black and white as well, but he's got a little bit of brown. He's got some really unique face markings, pretty similar to his mom. And then he's got some brown and black on each of his legs and on his feet. He's sprinkled with a little flare. <laughs> He is quite a bit smaller than his brother, but it's still a good weight. And he's definitely the screamer. Every time I try to hold him, he screams and cries for mama. I know. I know. You're going to have to get used to it. Feisty. Here you go. mama. So I really, really could not have asked for a better start to our kidding season. We've got a lot more babies on the way, so stay tuned for more videos. <laughs> All right, I'll give you guys that. If you'd like to go back and see the video where Destiny gave birth and I trained her to the milk stand for the first time, you can check that out right here. As always, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.